band Lost in a Name, and this is the Shredaholics Anonymous Quick Tips and Short Blasts Guitar Blog, where we give you loads of quick tips and small short blasts. You know what I'm talking about, ladies. Today, we're going to talk about everyone's favorite topic, alternate picking. Shut up! Play it! Play it! Play it! Uh, here are three quick tips to get you going in the right direction. Number one, the type of pick is really important. If you have a really thin, wobbly pick that's uh, good for like acoustic or strumming, it's going to be hard to shred alternate picking really fast. There's just a little bit of drag. It's hard when you're skipping strings. And the slight delay from the bend of the pick ends up making it sound kind of sloppy, at least in my experience. Do you have any good ones in there? I will say like a thinner pick maybe like a 0.60 or 0.66 millimeter pick. It does have a really good tone though. It's got a very good cutty, um, cutting tone. But I think the balance isn't quite there because the playability isn't quite there. On the other end of the spectrum, these are called the big stubbies, three millimeter picks. These aren't gonna bend. These are gonna be exactly where you want them to be when you want them to be there. But I think the tone on here is a little bit too round. It doesn't have quite cut through tone. Like the thin one. For me personally, the best compromise is the Jazz 3, the Jim Dunlop. I think these are two millimeters. It's got a really nice tone, and it also isn't going anywhere. It's hard as a rock, if you know what I'm saying. The second tip is uh, has all to do with how you hold the pick. When you're holding the pick, you really don't want much of the pick showing past your thumb. You have a lot of pick hanging out. It's going to be hard to control. You can drop your pick just like that. There's going to be too much drag, there's too much pick on string contact and it's going to take more energy to strike the, the string. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's just the tip. And this way it's just a little bit of pick showing and you have just enough pick to cut through, but not too much pick to cause drag. The third tip is my favorite uh, alternate picking exercise. This is the famous Paul Gilbert lick. It really works well. You just need two adjacent strings, let's say the D and the G string. Let's pick the seventh fret to start with. So you're gonna pick, take your pointer finger on the seventh fret, your index finger on the ninth fret, and your pinky on the tenth. Then you're gonna move your pointer finger over and put that on the seventh fret of the G string and then come back down. Strictly alternate picks, you're gonna go down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And if you play with the triplet feel, that's the riff. Work on playing that perfectly and cleanly and then speeding it up as you get better at it. That is the Shredaholics Anonymous Quick Tips and Short Blasts guitar blog for the day. If you have any questions, please leave a comment, email. I'll be sure to respond. I'll put the information up on the top of the video. So have a good one.